If there's one thing most golfers can agree on, it's their dislike for putting green aeration. It's frustrating to see greens that were playing great become bumpy and sandy in the blink of an eye. Golf course superintendents don't like the disruption that comes from aeration either, but without it, playing conditions can suffer. Putting greens need to have soils that drain well and provide good growing conditions to maintain healthy grass. As grass grows, a natural layer of organic matter, or thatch, builds up near the surface. This layer acts like a sponge that slows drainage by absorbing water. It also keeps roots from growing deep, promotes disease, and contributes to soft, bumpy playing conditions. The best way to control the buildup of organic matter and improve putting green soils is with a combination of aeration and top dressing. So, how does it all work? First, the superintendent determines which method of aeration to use. They might make small holes more often or larger holes less frequently. They can remove cores, punch holes, inject sand, or use some combination of the many techniques available. Dates are then scheduled with careful attention paid to the golf calendar and available labor. Finding a time with optimal weather is also important in helping the grass heal faster. Even with sufficient labor, putting green aeration typically takes about two days. No matter what the method or schedule of aeration is, the goals are essentially the same. To create channels in the soil for air and water movement, to relieve compaction, and to dilute organic matter. Once aeration is complete, sand top dressing is applied to fill the holes and dilute organic matter. This helps to maintain smooth, firm putting surfaces that are better able to tolerate traffic throughout the season. The greens will be bumpy during the healing process, but with careful planning and good weather, recovery can be surprisingly quick. It might take a week or two for the greens to heal completely, but in the grand scheme of things, it's worth the temporary inconvenience to play on great putting surfaces all season long. And who knows, an aeration hole might bounce your ball into the hole the next time you play.